Hello everyone, so Ukraine has released some photos of its newest marine drone called the Sea Wolf. The publicity image here reveals that this is a modular marine drone able to be equipped with different missiles and payloads for different roles and purposes. So firstly, the Sea Wolf R is an air defence boat with a SAM launcher on each side, which I guess is the A9 Sidewinder. Below it is the Sea Wolf machine gun cover boat fitted with a machine gun at the front. Cover boat I assume means escort and is providing cover to the Magora 5 armed marine drones. We saw drones equipped with machine guns engaging helicopters in the video released last year, but I think those were Magora 5s rigged up with them, not this. Below that, the most interesting to me, a Sea Wolf MGR which has a radar, which I guess this radar is going to be integrated with the Sea Wolf R air defence boats to allow them to better operate and engage targets. Below that, also interesting, an electronic warfare boat. So, to jam FPV drones which Russia may be using to intercept marine drones. Remember, a few days ago, Russia released footage of them using FPV drones for that very purpose. Below that, Sea Wolf M, designed to lay mines. That could be very useful as well, if Ukraine can sneak one to the entrance of Nova Rossisk and Sevastopol Harbour, plant some mines there, and hope a ship bumps into them. Ukraine used similar a couple of years ago which hit a Borer class hovercraft near Sevastopol and a minesweeper, I forgot what type of minesweeper it was, but we saw a photo of a Borer limping back into harbour with a notable list and a few months later Ukraine revealed the user marine drone to place mines there. I think that was a rigged up Magora 5 or C baby as the Sea Wolf was still under development at that time. This one though a specialised platform to lay mines. And finally at the bottom, the Sea Wolf D drone carrier. On the right hand side is a pretty cool extended platform. The text at the top says coming next, so this one isn't in service yet. It looks to be a combination of pretty much everything. A Swiss army knife of marine drones. Described as being 9.5 metres and multifunctional. So it's equipped with four AIM-9 missiles, a 12.7mm machine gun, an FPV drone, or, and this is very interesting, guided munition launcher. So this new model under development looks like it's going to be able to launch ground to ground, or I guess sea to ground missiles of some type, or ship to ship missiles too, I guess is a possibility. This is a capability we haven't seen fitted to the marine drones yet. The closest is some Magoras which were equipped with rocket tubes to fire MLRS rockets. We haven't seen those since, so I don't think they worked very well and I imagine they would be very inaccurate. But guided missiles, I definitely could see those working pretty well and will make the marine drones even deadlier. We did see, I believe in late 2023, a report from Ukraine that they jerry-rigged a brimstone launcher to a fast motorboat in order to destroy an S-300 launcher in Crimea. I think brimstone could definitely be the platform of choice here, as it's very versatile. The payload for this marine drone is said to be about 4,000 kilograms, with a range 1,500 kilometers, so easily able to cover large parts of the Black Sea. Now, I can't wait until we see the extended platform in use. It's basically a patrol boat that's a drone, able to target Russian targets and defend itself too, with its air to air missiles. I'd love to know what missile we plan to use on it, if it's going to be an anti ship one, and if we may see one of these bag of Russian ship at some kind. Which may be difficult actually considering the Black Sea fleet is still cowering in Novo Rossisk. Now none of the Sea Wolves mentioned here you can notice are kamikaze marine drones. It seems from what I can tell that role is going to be left to the Sea Babies and Magora 5. These are all more specialised. I imagine a future Ukrainian marine drone attack fleet will feature a mixture of Magora 5s to attack shipping with Sea Wolf R, Sea Wolf MG, and Sea Wolf ER for protection from helicopters, aircraft, and drones. Possibly flanked by the electronic warfare ones to jam any FPV drones that Russia launches towards them. Now, the drone carrier, we've seen Magora 5s use as FPV drone mother ships as well. From what I can tell, they seem to operate singly, so a single Magora 5 creeping over shore and then launching FPV drones which go and attack targets, operating on its own so they wouldn't be spotted. I imagine the Sea Wolf D, the drone one, will operate the same way. 
There's also some photos of them on display. So we've seen Modular, a base built created with various modules switched and changed depending on the mission. And that isn't all in the world of Ukraine's new marine drones. Ukraine has also revealed photos of a new drone carrier. This one is reported to have a conventional boat engine with blades instead of water cannons and carries four containers with ready to launch FPV drones. The press release of this one says the platform could carry between 500 to 3,000 kilograms of weapons of various types, air to surface and underwater. So, to me, that seems that Ukraine is also working on one equipped with torpedoes, which is pretty interesting. It also works with artificial intelligence. This one looks to be a different model than the Seawolf. Check the engine and the shape of the drone launcher boxes. So I believe this is an entirely different marine drone than the Seawolf. The press release also featured a photo of this unknown marine drone, a different variant with a different hull shape. This has a launcher for four attack drones, not FPV drones. The drone demonstrated here has a similar miniature aircraft design as Warmate and Switchblade, so it seems like this one launches dedicated attack drones with longer range and that sort of thing. This type has reportedly already been used and is very likely responsible for some of the videos we've seen lately from Crimea of Ukrainian drones launched by marine drones hitting Russian air defence equipment there. I wonder too if the Seawolf has already been used. Remember the pair of Su-30s down last week? They were reported to be Sidewinder equipped drones which got them, which the Seawolf is equipped with. So, some pretty cool developments here, and Ukraine continues to establish its control over the Black Sea. So, that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Now, I'm going to play a video from Cars for Ukraine about the ongoing fundraiser. Thanks so much, and take care everybody. Me? Пілоти роти ударних безпілотних авіаційних комплексів – серафими. Ми щоночі полюємо на ворогів. Цей борт називається «Вампір». І це справжній нічний кошмар для окупантів. Бо кожен скид – це влучання по цілі. Техніка, піхота, укриття. Від вампіра не сховається ніхто. Нам для нашої роботи дуже потрібні 10 пікапів і 2 буса. Я старший лейтенант Сергій Костинський командир ударної роти Серафими. І я звертаюся до команди Car for Ukraine, Bandero Mobile, а також до партнерів їх ком'юніті на YouTube, мережі X, в Instagram, включаючи ATP Geopolitics, Eric Sikamimus, World Translated, Pestyle One, Andrew Mercado, Tanya Iona, Rick the Ukrainian та інших міжнародних бійців на інформаційному полі з проханням долучитися та посприяти в зборі на автомобілі для нашої ударної роти. Нам потрібна ваша допомога. Від цього залежить наше життя.